Okay, Aquarius. So for your energy for the month of June, we have the eight of cups in reverse. <sighs> so, wow. Okay. What this tells me is that for some of you, I feel like, you know, something is wrong, but in regards to love or relationships, but you, there's a refusal to want to do anything about it. When you have the eight of cups reversed, it talks about like almost a stagnation or there's an awareness that something is off, but instead of actually wanting to deal with it, it's just pretending that everything's okay and acting as if you're happy. But deep down, you know that you're not fully happy. I'm getting a lot of blue and it's in reverse. And so I just feel like emotionally there's a sadness in regards to relationships um, but there's an unwillingness to want to change or to actually do anything about it. So there might be a fear of change, a fear of making a change. Um, and it does regards the cups, the emotions. So this card can also talk about that the main issue that is a fear quote unquote in a relationship is abandonment, that maybe you're afraid of being abandoned or you know, this could also be, you know, you abandoning someone else. Maybe that is the issue at the forefront for the month. Um, so when the eight of cups reverses, it's kind of a refusal to like, I feel like some of you don't believe you deserve it. Like you don't believe you deserve love and romance or a good relationship. Some of you are just kind of accepting the status quo or accepting your lot in life that, you know, this is all there is for you. And, and that it's easier to not have to look within because I've gotten this a lot for Aquarius in the last few months that it's much easier to stay busy. Um, you know, cause this card can talk about just being really busy and, you know, just keeping yourself distracted so that you don't have to look at all these different issues emotionally. Uh, you know, if you stay busy enough, you know, you're never alone enough to really, to look at those issues. And maybe some of you are afraid to look at the issues, like in order to actually do something about it, like your relationship or to meet someone new, you really don't want to go there. You don't want to have to go there because you're afraid of what you'll find. Uh, and that's understandable because as a very cerebral intelligent air sign, you know, messy emotions are not a place that you generally probably like to hang out. And so for some of you though, in order to raise your love and relationship to a higher vibration, that's exactly where you have to go. This card can also talk about, I'm going to set it down here. It can also talk about some of you might be struggling with your self-esteem and your self image that even a body image could be off. So some of you might be, um, you know, using addictions to cover up this unhappiness because I feel like some of you are just going through the motions. Like you're just going through every single day, but it's, there's a lack of awareness that you don't want to face because of the feelings that you have regarding either this relationship or what you would have to do to get your ideal relationship that there's just a sense of the mundane and just accepting it as it is because it's easier. And I just want to say Aquarius that you are so amazing. Anyone would be incredibly lucky to have you. You're brilliant. First of all, you're an amazing friend. You're so much fun. You're smart as a whip. You're a great conversationalist. I know you're beautiful and unique. So if any of you are not feeling good about yourself, quit it because you deserve all the good in life. You deserve the best that life has to offer and don't sell yourself short, you know, and this is general. So I just want you to know, this isn't going to apply to every Aquarius, but just if you've been struggling with that or just thinking you don't deserve the ideal love that you really desire, or it doesn't exist. Um, and a lot of this stuff is subconscious too. A lot of it we know in our head, but these, this is past programming because like I said, this card can refer to abandonment issues that the root of the issue is abandonment, fear of abandonment that maybe like getting too close to someone is just scary because you've been abandoned and you don't want to be abandoned again. 
So it's just easier just to kind of remain neutral or just have a very average situation. But the true love that you desire, you know, is going to require dealing with your emotions and dealing with your spiritual self, because this is kind of a disconnect to your heart and your spiritual self going on. And I feel that that's what's happening. Like there's a fear to go there, but you don't have to be afraid because you are safe. And so some of you could be avoiding a commitment because this talks about like fear of commitment and it could be because abandonment issues, or it could just be because you don't want to get too close. You don't want things to get too emotional or too messy or too needy, or maybe you're feeling really needy in regards to a relationship. Regardless, um, there is kind of an emotional disconnect. I feel for some Aquariuses this month where that side of you, your emotional self needs attention, needs focus, needs to be connected. And I get it. I totally get it. Um, because I believe that you want deep down, you want that true love. You want that true passionate love, but there's just a fear of change. There's a fear of moving or taking action or having to kind of face all these emotions. Okay. So for the challenge or the obstacle Aquarius, we actually have the devil in reverse. So what this tells me is I feel like a lot of you, I mean, it just stands to reason. If you have been operating on like kind of ignoring your deep emotional needs for love and kind of having a facade or a facade of happiness and, you know, on the outside, everything looks good. You're going to have to stuff those emotions and those needs down somehow. They're not going to just go away. We have basic human needs. And so some of you, I feel have been struggling with addictions, like just plain and simple. So that could be gambling. It could be food. It could be sexual addiction, money, shopping, uh, just, just overworking, socializing, partying. I mean, drugs, the list goes on and on and on because these emotions for some of you are really deep and powerful. There's like some deep stuff going on for you in love. And, and I feel that it's been suppressed. And so in order for that to stay down and to shove all those emotions down, some of you may have been grappling or wrestling with these addictions. And so the obstacle this month, because when it's in reverse, the reverse talks about letting go, finally realizing that it's not worth it. Like kind of seeing the illusion for what it is. You know, if you're, if you've been offered that instant gratification, like, you know, say for example, you know, it's always easy and quick just to get fast food. You know, it seems like the easy, quick answer solves the problem, but in the long run, you know, fast food continually, continuously eaten, it leads to poor health. So it's like the challenge is going to be seen through the lies and seen through the illusions. So because the devil is a trickster and he says, you're going to be happy if you do this, like, no, just take this pill or just, you know, just do your addiction because it's going to make you feel good. And so the challenge is going to be basically waking up and not allowing yourself to mask or cover up your emotions any longer. And this could be even in a current situation. You might already be in a relationship that you haven't been very happy. You could be single and, what has prevented you from finding the right person is the same issue because this can also talk about, I mean, I hope not, but some of you may have been in a abusive or almost an unhealthy relationship. And the challenge is going to be walking away from this situation because I feel that many of you are going to say enough is enough because this card does talk about like, I cannot continue to live this way. Like something has to change. And so there's a realization that something has to change. Like you finally get it. You know, you're not happy. You know, you're not getting everything out of love and relationships that you desire. You realize, you know, you, you've suppressed and disconnected yourself long enough and you're over it. You see through the lies, you see through the tricks, you see through the game and you're ready to walk away. And so even though that's all well and good, you know, we can say it, but as far as backing it up with action, that's where we're really tested. And so Aquarius, you can obviously do whatever you set your mind to, but that's going to be the challenge this month is saying no more to whatever is not serving you no more to the people. Cause this could talk about actually having to leave friends, you know, because you 
might be resolute, but if someone around you isn't supporting or helping your path or your calling, you might have to cut it off. You might have to let that go for a while because I really feel Aquarius that you have to take care of yourself. You have to balance your heart and your spirit and do whatever is necessary to love yourself. You really have to put yourself first. No more putting your happiness, you know, at the bottom of the totem pole. You know, maybe you have a lot of people that you support and you help and you feel like all this responsibility is on you, but you're just as important. And if you go down, the whole ship goes down. So this month, I really feel like the universe is saying time to connect with your inner child, time to connect with your inner heart and to love yourself and to begin that process of extricating yourself from things that are not serving you. And like I said, Aquarius, this may be a relationship or it may just be your own inner thoughts my own self-defeating thoughts. So are actually a really beautiful month as far as potential for healing and growth. So this is nothing to be afraid of. This is actually exciting. Okay. So Aquarius, as far as the outcome or the realization, we have a beautiful card here. We have the King of Wands. And so what this tells me is that you are going to take all this knowledge at, that you have learned this month or through this relationship or through this time and you're going to utilize it to your advantage. When you have the King of Wands, you have an authoritative, someone that takes control of their life, someone that knows that they have the power to create. Um, he is rational. He is decisive. He's authoritative. He knows that he has to earn respect, so he doesn't just expect it, but people respect him because he knows who he is. And so this tells me a couple of things that I feel a lot of you are going to take your power back. You're going to, the King of Wands is focused on himself, but in a healthy way, a self-assertive way. You're going to stand your ground. You're going to make your stand. You're going to own your power. You know, you're going to have your wand and your rod, and you're going to say, this is who I am, and I'm proud of it. You're not going to care what other people think. Um, I feel that some of you might hear, Either you're potentially dealing with a fire sign or it could be a water sign. Um, so Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or this could be the outcome that you're realizing that this is the kind of personality that you ultimately will want to attract. Um, so this person is very sexy. They are magnetic, they're independent and they're free. And so I feel like what you're going to realize Aquarius and that what you're probably already realizing is that you are a very independent soul and what, whoever you're with in a relationship needs to understand that and respect your need for freedom. And that that is a critical, important factor in regards to relationships that that person needs, you know, I feel that the best fit for you is going to be someone that also has a need for freedom as well. That someone that is independent, that has activities outside the home, that is not too emotionally needy is going to be the best fit for you. I feel that this is your energy being balanced. So I feel that as the outcome, this is what you're working towards. So you are clear, you're going to start facing whatever has been holding you back. You're going to be letting go and you're going to be coming into this energy of taking your power, asserting yourself, making decisions. And also there's a sense of adventure and activity and variety and freshness with this, this card. So I really don't feel that you're going to be staying in your challenges. I feel that many of you this month are going to be letting go of, you know, you're going to realize that you're important Aquarius, that you are a priority and that you need to make yourself a priority and that you're safe. You're safe to be with yourself. You're safe to be, to go within and you're going to get a sense of power from that. You're going to become empowered. So, I mean, we could talk a lot more about this. I think that it's actually a pretty incredible month for you. And one last thing, Aquarius, the reason that the, that you are going through this is because you are a leader. Other people are going to learn from you and you are going to help them in their journey. And because the King of Wands, he's a king. He's someone in authority that people look to and respect for answers and knowledge. And that is your calling to help humanity. And um, we appreciate that. Another sign got this Aquarius. This is petrified wood and its ancestors. I find, I think petrified wood is beautiful. Uh, it is a crystallized wood. It is related to the base chakra. 
Petrified wood is formed when a tree crystallizes over thousands of years. This magical crystal assists humanity in connecting to the essence and wisdom of trees and ancient trees. When working with this ancient medicine, you will also be guided to connect deeply with your ancestors, receiving love, guidance, and wisdom from the ones who walked before you. So petrified wood is a very grounding stone and a centering crystal. It assists in connecting you with nature and trees to receive deep wisdom and healing. It awakens the deep knowledge that lies within the blood and bones of your ancestry. It assists in realizing any old ancestral karma brought down through the bloodline. People throughout history have looked to and understood deep connections to ancestors, honoring them in prayer, ceremony, and ritual. This card is a sign that your ancestors are surrounding you with their love and support. They bring to you the wisdom of their life experiences and offer their loving guidance and support. Look to your ancestors and acknowledge their presence in your life. They will open you to receive their gifts and wisdom. Just as physical imbalances are handed down through family lines, so are emotional and mental traits. You inherit your ancestors' wisdom and also their challenges, patterns, traumas, and karma. If your situation is creating confusion and you feel a sense of separation from it, this could be karma from your ancestors. If so, you may feel guided to facilitate a ceremony to honor and connect to your kin. Allow only wisdom and love from these experiences to flow within you and be open to receive the healing light offered. This is a sacred time as you receive power and wisdom. So this card can also indicate that a family member in spirit has heard your loving thoughts and prayers and is with you, shining love into your heart. So that's very deep. And actually, I believe it was Sagittarius actually drew this card as well. And before this month, I haven't really drawn this card. So it seems that the universe and God are doing some powerful healing and connecting and, you know, making everything for the good of humanity and for the glory of God. And I feel that your ancestors are definitely important to many of you this month. So let's go ahead and pull a color card. What is the healing color energy that Aquarius can use for this month for meditation, for healing and assisting in their calling and their, to be their highest and best self. Beautiful. I love it, Aquarius. So we have gold attract abundance. Gold provides clarity and decision-making, attracting abundance, expanding awareness and clearing the path to wisdom, knowledge, and joy. Strengthen all fields of the body and spirit with gold the strongest color for healing all illness, but use it wisely. To attract abundance, focus on activating golden energy in the palms of your hands. Hold a gold coin in each of your palms and focus on the gratitude for the abundance you already have. Close your eyes and bless the coins, imagining them multiplying into a mountain of abundance. Activate the golden energy in your palms by sending golden light into them. When your hands begin to tingle, You'll know that where appropriate, everything you touch can turn to gold. Say, God, open the well of abundance in my heart and attract continuous blessings in my life. And honestly, Aquarius, that's kind of what I feel is happening for you. I feel that because you have done so much good and because you have cared for humanity and to be of service for others, I feel that you have many you have a huge team on your side. You have God, the angels, you have your ancestry, you have people that you probably don't even know um, are rooting for you and desiring you to have this abundance in whatever area of your life that you are seeking. So know that the camaraderie, the spiritual backing, um, you know, the abundance of the universe is surrounding you right now and they're all rooting for you and they all have your best interests at heart. So really exciting. I know a lot of opportunities and abundance is going to be coming for you. 